let's say you want to make a hover effect with elementor and here this is how it works you could see that if i hover on this section it changes to the first image if i change to the second section it changes to the second image third image fourth image and you could say this is how it works and if i remove my mouse it takes to the default image but let's say you don't want to do that and instead you want a state where it states or it stays on hover state so let's say if I do this and then remove my mouse, you could say it is changing to the first image. If I do this, it is changing to the second image. And if I just change it like this to random one, it will stay to that image. So let's see how we can make this very easily. And another thing is I would actually be providing this as a template. But even if you download the template, you will still need to understand how this works. So make sure you watch the video. If you are planning to download the what you call the template then simply just go to the page i haven't uploaded yet so this is how this is like an example and just click on download and then download it you could also check the live demo and i'll add the code around here or in my blog section i'll add the code it will all it will all be in description so you don't need to like click here and there just click on description so how about we just get started now for the first one for the image change which uh, in which it will not stay on hover state we will need custom css and you do require elementor pro that you could get from the description so just check the link in description and get elementor pro and that way you could support me so for this first section what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this four by four but if you want to do it manually you could also do like manually just add one and then you know drag it one by one but i'll do by the default one i'll make this full width like this let's give it some height let's say like 500 and then i will give this container a class of main bg so if we go around here you could see i have given it a class of main bg so how about i just copy this first to show you what it does so you could see that as soon as i did this it added an image but you don't know what you need to add here right so let's me let me show you how you can just find which image you want to show here so let's just go into our style tab click on classic and then just choose any image that you want to so let's see if i want to showcase uh, this image which is like 1920 by 1280 i'll just copy my file url copy go into advanced uh, let make sure it is disabled okay uh, we are only going to use this to check the file path or file url but make sure you have disabled it and then all you need to do is replace this basically you need to do is replace this much replace this much with your own image url and that image would be shown here and basically what i've done is i've added like a background size which is 100 percent and then background position should be center center if you wish to change it to top center top right you could do anything and just look at background uh, css and you could add anything around here now the next thing we need to do is if we go into our container we can see we have four containers inside of this first one i'm going to call it as column one like this let's copy it and then paste in the second one we will call column two the third one we will call column three usually i like to work with like this section rather than clicking around here because sometimes it's a bit buggier or you will not be able to click it perfectly so just use the navigator by clicking here and it works perfectly fine and let's call it four and if i just take my code which is in the description and this was also provided on the Elementor website, so it's pretty easy. And if I just paste it, you could see that I actually have four images. And all we have done is in the background image URL, we have just added what we want in our first image, what we want on our second column, what we want on our third column, and what we want on our fourth column. And if you just wish to, let's say, add more columns, or if you want to like remove it all you need to do is click around here in the fifth column call it column 5 in the css just copy this changes to let's say column 5 and here we will add our new url so let me search for an image for our new url let's see this one and make sure all the images are the same size because if you don't let me show what it does 
So if I just copy it in my URL and then you see, go back uh, in the main container, I'll just replace my CSS. You could see it works perfectly, but the fourth and fifth image would be a bit buggier. Uh, you could see this is what it does because it tries to stretch, stretch it to that size. So make sure the image sizes are same. So this all are 1920 by 1080, but this one has like a different resolution. So it just does this weird animation. And if you just want to reduce it, then all you need to do is delete. Let's say if you only want three columns, just delete the third one. And that's all you need to do. And this is pretty easy. You could see to make the hover effect. Now, how about we just make the stay on hover state like this one. Now the process is pretty similar, but except uh, using CSS, we will use JavaScript. So first I'll do the same thing. I'll add the four by four make it full width, give it some height so that there's some height. And inside of this, I will add HTML widget like this. And obviously it gets a bit confusing to add it like this. You see, it is a bit annoying. Uh, what I want to do is I want it to be inside this container. So if I just go around here, you could see I can add it, but sometimes it can be buggy. So one easy method I will show you is Simply click on the container in which you want to add it. So because I want to add it in here, I'll click here, go around here and then type HTML and just click it once. And you can see it automatically adds it there. And obviously one more thing that I want to do is I want to go into responsive and hide it everywhere. Because sometimes this widget will take like few pixels of size. So it looks a bit weird. So what I like to do is I just hide it everywhere and the code will still work. And the code is pretty simple. And again, I'm not someone who understands JavaScript, but I just copied like code from somewhere and then went to chat GPT and was like, uh, I want to do this and that and please compress it for me. So I actually used some other JavaScript, made it into like, it was very big. And then I was like, can we come? I went into chat GPT and was like, can we compress it? And this is the code that we get and it works perfectly fine. As someone who's not completely familiar with JavaScript, I am not sure everything how it works, but I know how to, or I know some parts that work and it's pretty easy to do. So don't worry. I'll just add this in the description. So let's go into uh, our HTML and copy this for time being, or rather, let me show you what the settings we have to do. So in this one, we can see rather than column, I have used like box one, box two. Uh, ignore the horns, it's being pretty annoying. So what I'm going to do is in container one, I'm going to go here and I'm going to call this box one. Here I'll call it box two. And again, JavaScript is something I don't completely understand. So just, I will explain what I know because it works per perfectly fine. So yeah. And we just called it box one to five like this. Then in this one, the main container, which contains all of this, I will call is as main image right here. Main image is basically our default image. So if I go around here, you could see that I actually have an extra image, but when we hover on it, it changes to the next, next image. But let's say if you just wanted to have like this image at first, just make sure that both of this image are same. So if I just go here and all we are doing is we are going, we are adding like JavaScript variables. So constant main image. So anything that has main image class is called main image in JavaScript box selector. So box one, two, three, four. And if you add more, I will show you how to add more. And then we have constant hover images. Basically hover images are some that we will hover basically. And here we can just copy paste our uh, what you call our url so this is my first url this is my second third and fourth and you just need to like copy and then paste for like the fifth image now again i don't understand the compressed version i actually used i used to use like a bigger version but i just went into chat GPT and was like can you compress it and it created this like very smaller version which works like pretty nicely and then we got our box selector and this one is like mouse enter. So when mouse enters, it just simply replaces the main image or whatever the image is used for that container. It replaces it with like the zero, one, two, three stuff like that. 
for box one box two box three so let me just copy paste it in here and then you could see let's wait for it call this main image box one box two box three box four and then html and let's go and check in our main page and you can see that it is working like this but we still need to do some uh what you call we need to still add the css so what the css is basically just telling that we don't want it to be like we want it to stretch you could see it is ending around here we want it to cover and stuff so basically this is what we are using if you let's say no don't have elementor pro you could actually use like this technique it allows you to use uh, css without having elementor pro so this is basically what i'll copy and what we are doing is the main image which is our main container we are adding a background url because right now you could see there is no image by default so if i just refresh this page there is no image by default so we are setting an image that needs to be here i'll make this like 100 percent so background size should be 100 background position should be center center and then the transition when you hover on it it shouldn't be like instant so let's just copy this and then paste it in our html and you could see that we have our image set around here and now we can simply just hover on these sections and all i've done is added border on left and right so like okay wait that's not right so like left and right so you can see there's the border remove the padding i'll add a border on the right side and then we get the same effect now it's not working around here but if you refresh it it will work let's refresh the main page instead and here you could see first one second one third one fourth one and it just works basically if you want to have like faster transition you could lower this like 0 0.3 0 0.3 so it would have a faster transition if you want slower you could make it like one second stuff like this everything's perfect now let's say if you want to add extra box so one more container or one less container so i just added a box here by duplicating it and i'll call this box 5 all i need to do is go into my javascript i need to copy this one let's add comma paste box 5 like this and then i need to add another image url so how about i just use this one for time being make sure you add a comma like this and then we are done with adding fifth one and that's all you need to do to add your fifth image so now let's see what happens so this is the first image second image third image fourth image fifth image you see it works perfectly fine no issues at all and all this code will be in description and all you simply need to do is change this url change this url in the code i will give i will add like insert image one insert image two like this here uh, i haven't created the blog page yet or the code page yet on my website but i'll add the link in description from where you could copy it and yeah that's all pretty easy to do and i'll also add a template that you could simply download but it's pretty easy to do so i would just suggest using it from the blog section or using the code by yourself so yeah thanks for watching if you have any issues just let me know and i'll try to help you in the comments and yeah like and subscribe